President Muhammad Buhari has stated that he closed the land borders for two years for the benefit of farmers who were the driving force of the rural economy. The President said this on Friday in Daura while speaking to the elected local government council chairman, chairman from the state. He said his administration has taken various decisions, including the closure of land borders to encourage local farming for the nation. I have a good understanding of the country and its people. That is why we instituted those agricultural policies I said we must grow what we eat and eat what we grow. This is a country that was once dependent on foreign rice. We closed the border to foreign rice. I said, why can't we eat Nigerian rice? And with the policies put in place, Nigerians are eating homegrown rice. He said in a statement issued by his spokesman, Gaba Shewu. Wari also played up the successful implementation of the Treasure Single Account TSA, saying money had been saved from unscrupulous government officers. I found a tough man, Hamid Ali, for the job at the customs. One day he came to me and said that they had intercepted 24 tankers about to cross the border, I said to him, sell the fuel and the tankers and put the money in TSA before this time. That money would have found its way to the numerous mysterious government accounts. On the suggestion by Alaji Yaro Omar Gojo, Gojo, the Commissioner of Lo uh, Local Government and Chief Tenancy Affairs, who led the council chairman that the agricultural policies of the administration be made into law to ensure continuity under the all incoming administrations. Wari said such good policies will commend themselves to any government. Gojo Gojo commended the president for initiating several measures to transform agriculture in order to increase farmers' income during the last seven years. He told the president that before this time, Castina people knew how to eat rice but had no linking as to grow and process it. The commissioner also briefed the president about the security situation in the state, saying that the state's amended security law had brought everyone into the miss state government, local government, traditional rulers, and the ordinary citizen with each one playing their part in helping to reduce the worrisome security threat facing the states. Hmm. Oh my God. The moment this man shifts is whatever, he will start spitting nonsense. The Duboda closure stopped the importation of sophisticated weapons and the influence of foreign rights to the country. May we never experience wicked leaders again in Nigeria. The borders are open for terrorists to flood in here under the God knows what guys. What are they even talking? You stop, you ban rice, but you do not ban sophisticated weapons. You do not ban terrorists from entering Nigeria. The borders are only closed for rice importation and not weapons. The terrorists that the terrorists that are operating unchallenged in the whole country, may be their weapons, are also produced in Nigeria. Mebuari never happened to Nigeria again. But in northern borders, we are never shot. Which kind of government is this? Nigeria has been reduced to button by these people and some educated morons. You know, campaigning for PDP and APC, what a people. This is a welcome development. Okay, Buhari, what are you even saying? These are reactions by Nigerians. You close border and destroy farming activity by headers in their land. And you close border, are you eating local rice in Asorok? If we should not eat foreign rice again, 
we should shun foreign treatment and education terrorism and uh, uh, treason treatment i swear going abroad for treatment is like eating foreign rice exactly hmm. Ike Kuremado is suffering today because of what they fit to do in at home. I I love these comments. It's not just by banning foreign rice. You, you can as well ban going out to the foreign country to take paracetamol and whatever. Then we now know that you are trying for it. You should shun foreign health care also. You are a bad leader. But they won't shun medical terrorism that is even a greater disservice to our nation. Hypocrisy. Sparks are the apis and crusaders on these demons. Okay, that is harsh. Why you open northern borders for terrorists to come in and carry out your evil agenda? You kept rice out, then allow terrorists and their equipment in which they then use against our farmers. Stopping them from farming and inflicting unnecessary hunger on Nigerians as a result. Only God can punish you where. The border closure was the case of all the crises in Nigeria. Many people became jobless and took to crimes. You too should shun medical trips. We have government hospitals in Nigeria. Use them. Swear to Nigerians that you and your family eat local rice. Even those that farm. Did your terrorist brothers allow them to go to farm? Thank God we are counting days for you. You are the worst president ever. We shall also shun foreign treatment when your battery will be going low. No sense, You only closed borders in the south while those of this, the north was opened for illegal immigration of your casemen and not to promote our agricultural produce. I hate lies, Mr. President. Okay, guys, these are some reactions by Nigerians. What's your take? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you very much for this coming out here. Yeah?